the yarning a bit, you know, it makes it so that the strips are not super thick, you come crawl all the way around. I mean, it's great for a stew because it breaks down a little bit faster, it gets everything going, it cooks faster too. And then you just chop off the little root right there, put that to the side. So you just do that for uh, two large onions, three smaller ones if you have them. Huh! Yeah. Um, so like if you have your fingers curled over, if you're going to cut anything, it's just going to be a knife blade digging into your fingernail, which yeah. is perfectly safe. I mean, like, I don't recommend it, but you're fine doing it. Um, and you use your knuckle kind of as like a barrier, so then your hand's a little claw and it moves back as you're chopping stuff. Okay. So then that way you don't cut in and accidentally injure yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I learned it from Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay? Okay. Gordon Ramsay. I gotta start watching him. I mean, I, keep, I, I go around telling people to have a cooking show, so. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Good. Ready for some Irish cooking boy. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Okay. How you doing this, friend? Oh, okay. okay. There's a carburetor in there, guys. <clears throat> oh, man. Can you tell what's going on down there? Um, it's just like a motor that spins around a few blades and stuff and just turns everything up. And, well, uh, and it's nice and easy. You literally just have them all stacked on top of each other. And then you take your knife and you slice it down and across, right? Because you're going to fry these up in a minute until like small, so they're going to shrink. And then use the fat to cook all the other stuff that you're eating with. Just so you know, this stew is in no way vegan. Kind of like a medium heat or? Medium heat, I normally put around mm -hmm. like four out of eight. Okay, you know, okay. So about halfway there. Okay. And you don't want Some it too hot because it starts crisping up the bacon super fast and you're trying to render out the fat yeah. so you can use it for cooking later on. Yeah. So. See, a big thing I tell, like, when I make pancakes and pretty, pretty much everything, get the pan hot. Yep. As far as Get oh. it warm before you put it on. Yeah. I don't really do a little but, test, I'll show you later. Okay. But you get a little hand or water on your hand and then you you know, just like spray it onto the pan and if no. it sizzles around a bit, then you know it's good to cook with. It's not enough. Well I'll be. <coughs> so you get some water on your hand and then you just go like a little salt bay, but dab on a pan. So if it sizzles Which it does, it's hot enough to throw everything else on. Okay. Alright. So we got the bacon. Just baking it first. Okay. Just to get the fat going? Yeah, just Nice painting the there, too. That's garbage. Quality assurance, right? Camera. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Stocks, cut them in half so that they're a little bit easier to cut. I have them in a little bundle here, and then just go through it with a knife. You know, around the same size as the carrots. There's some good stuff. Uh, celery is like loaded with water. Don't know what that does for the stew, but um, it's healthy, baby. Just thought you should know. So just kind of, it kind of adds to the taste and that type of thing. Kinda, yeah, I heard it know. takes more calories to consume raw celery than you gain from it, but uh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Stuff on the bottom of the pan is the fawn. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Binging with babish, love it. Anyways, oh, um, so you're trying to get these so that they're like, uh, you know, a, a reddish color, like a deeper red, uh -huh. and then that's normally when all the fats rendered out. And then the next thing you're gonna do after this is you're gonna to toss in your beef cubes, fry those up. Um, and you're gonna put all of that into your stew pot. It's not on or anything, so literally it's just the pot that you're gonna throw stuff in. And then you get started just a bit after everything's all fried up. Well, that's perfect. All right guys, so the bacon's done cooking. Just throw it into your pot. And uh, try and keep as much liquid in the pan as possible. Helps everything else cook better later. So you got the beef here. You're know, just gonna tear that package open and it goes straight in the pan. No changes need to be done. Okay. So and that's just some stewing beef. Just some stewing, stewing beef, beef pre-cut. Uh, for the juices and whatnot, you know, right? You want the mm -hmm. juice and the fat, fat content. If it's like too lean, and it's not very good. And if it's too fatty, it just breaks down too quickly. Okay, okay. perfect. Is there a light on here? Yeah, I'll help you. Woo! Gotten that all green. <laughs> oh, there you go. Is that good? Yeah. Oh, right. Extra bright. <laughs> Delicious. So the reason that we're frying the beef is it helps seal in the juices and stuff that you're going to be trying to cook with later on. So it helps slow, like it helps to slow down the breaking down of the beef itself in the stew and give it a little bit better texture. Now that you've fried up your bacon, your beef, you got the fawn on the bottom of the pan. Fancy word I'm going to use, deglaze. It's when you throw your onions on, something with a high acidity or a high water content. Basically what that does is it breaks down whatever's stuck on your pan 
gets more flavor into your stew. Whenever you're ready. All right, guys. So uh, while the onions are frying, you can just throw the rest of your vegetables into the stew, like into the pot here, because uh, as soon as the onions are done, that's when you're going to start wanting to add broth and your Guinness and all that good stuff into the pot as well. So the faster you do it, the uh, right, so what you're trying to get to, like when it comes to the onions here, is you want them to be translucent. Um, so what that is, is it means you can see through them partially, but it's not like looking through a window. So um, we're getting pretty close here. You know, they're, they're shining. Some of them you can start to see through a little bit, but not quite there yet. It'll probably be another three, four minutes before we're good to throw them in the pot. Okay. So transparent. It's like a window. It's, it's like a window. It's through glasses. It's clear. You can see perfectly fine both sides. Okay. It's translucent. It's part way there. Translucent is kind of like opaque. I remember uh, learning that in science, I think. Opaque is like... Grade it, six. Opaque would be full black. Like, you can't oh, see through it. It's okay. like a t-shirt. It's, you know, or like the the windows in the bathroom. Like a... That uh, are... <clears throat> I, I think, yeah. Kind okay, of guys, so the onions are done. You know, they're uh, looking pretty shiny and stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your uh, element down to like a low, medium, low type of deal. Move the pot over onto that. Just pour your onions in. And then um, the first thing you're going to do after that is you're going to grab a couple can and then you open it up when you want it to flow faster. Here's the opposite. You open up the can and then you slide your knife in and it just shoots right out of the other side. So that's how I empty a can in less than three seconds. Don't waste the flow. It, 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 <laughs> right natural, uh, natural tendencies. Okay, go ahead. Anyways, so you crack the top of the yep, can, right? Yep. Fully opened. Okay. Fully opened. There Whoop. we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then you tip it over. So you start pouring it out. Okay. And then you grab the knife and you puncture a little hole in the bottom. There you go. And it drops much, much faster. Okay. Exactly. Science. This is tomato Beautiful. paste. This is tomato to paste. Clear. Not sauce, tomato paste. So you want thick, condensed tomato. Perfect. Drop that in straight into your Guinness. Yeah. And uh, vegetable mix. Guys, so same deal as with the, uh, the Guinness. Actually, I threw my knife away. Anyways, um, you're adding chicken stock next. So this helps add so like salt and flavor to your, uh, your stew here. Just pour that in. So normally I do about two of these at the beginning. And then, and then so just got to stir the pot a little bit here. Yeah. Oh man, this is at the beautiful. beginning. Oh my god, and if you could smell this stuff, geez, you would fall yeah. right in luck. <laughs> oh man, it's amazing. All right, guys, so what we've done is we've turned the temperature up here, so it's a little bit closer to medium high. Uh, I'd say six out of eight. You know, uh, what you're trying to do is get it to a boil. And then I have some fresh thyme here. And you can add just about as much as you want. I normally do around three like separate little twig things. Scientific word right there. Uh, <laughs> throw those in. And then you're going to get some salt and pepper and add that too. Add those to taste. Delicious. To taste delicious, yes. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, when it's just about to start boiling, the Guinness does its thing and starts to uh, bubble up and create like foam. So, anyways, it's cooking. What? Almost an hour. Since, uh, about an hour since we got started. Anyways, here's the stew. As you can see, it's reduced a little bit. It's a little bit thicker. Anyways, at this point, you know, it's at a boil still, but if you put it down to a simmer, then uh, it's going to help soften everything up and make it taste awesome. Guys, so um, pretty easy to find the, the thyme sprigs afterwards. You threw them in as like full leaves and stuff, and now they come out pretty much just the stem. So I picked those out just because it's easier not to eat them. Anyways. So we're having a little sample today. Yep. All right. I'm just trying to get a little bit more broth, but um, anyways, serve this over top of potatoes, and you're just about good to go. Cool. All right. Yep. Okay. Looks okay. delicious. Okay. Let me know. It's amazing. Taste. Oh. Oh. Mm. Well, I'll be. Mm. That tastes really yeah. did quite on. It helped. There you go. There's your word.